देवरीगढ़ सेंचुरी महानदी द ग्रेट रिवर कवर्स अ स्ट्रेच ऑफ अराउंड 900 किलोमीटर्स एंड इज द लाइफ लाइन ऑफ ओडिशा द रिवर बियर्स द लॉन्गेस्ट डैम इन द वर्ल्ड द हीराकुद डैम but this is not the only popularity earned by this structure adjacent to the vast stretch of the dam's reservoir precisely right dike and its backwater lies a biodiverse area the debrigad wildlife sanctuary covering a small area of 354 square kilometer The sanctuary is home to a variety of wildlife. Most importantly, the birds. Birds of diverse groups, both local and migratory, turn up to this place for their daily course and nesting. Ground nesting. Ground nesting is one interesting category of nests that can be observed keenly at this sanctuary birds that nest on the ground scrape patches on a piece of earth and line their homes with grasses fibers and small pebbles though nests are scraped in the ground where eggs get sufficient heat birds choose water bodies near to the nest for the ease of temperature regulation and food river tern little tern little winged plover black winged stilt oriental canticle small canticle red water lapwing etc are the main group of birds that show kind of nesting In the following video we shall discern the ground nesting phenomenon of certain birds found in Debrigad and ecological interactions between them Birds start to nest when the water recedes in the reservoir thereby exposing riverine islands especially in March The event can be marked from March up to June till the water in the reservoir fills back in this nesting process after mating the female lays the eggs can you identify the eggs in this video it is difficult to identify the eggs ground nesting bird clutches are more likely to survive when their eggs camouflage with their surroundings hence their egg surface shows elaborate patterns to camouflage and reduce the chances of predation this camouflaging technique has been observed in more than 13 species of birds in hirakud wildlife division see the birds flap their wings to appear as an easy target for the predators and perform such fake injury simulations very often such anti predator behavior seeks the attention of the predator away from the nests being protected by the parent Do you see this black winged stilt and small pantycoe? How these birds are dipping their bodies by ensuring only wetting their belly. Is this related to nesting? Yes, it is related to nesting. Once the bird gets sufficient moisture in the body or belly, 
it moves to nest areas and cools down the eggs placed under the scorching heat. This is how they regulate the temperature of the eggs and continue till the eggs hatch which takes around 3 to 4 weeks depending on the species. The chicks will emerge out from the eggs through hatching as seen in this river term. Unlike other species, the newborns of birds with ground nests are born with functional body parts and wings. Even though they are quite adapted to the habitat by birth, yet the parents continue to protect and comfort the babies. A peaceful habitat always comes with competition. Check out the little tern attacking the river tern's nest. River terns are big in size and less in population as compared to little tern. Yet there exists a conflict for space, food and other resources due to which the little tern shows an interspecific competing behavior. Luckily, this time the parent river tern is back. Natural selection and survival of the fittest, as explained by Charles Darwin, continues to exist even here. See this little tern chick. It is struggling to survive in the scorching heat. Parents have tried their best to save their baby, provided it with food. But their attempts did not work and finally they uninhabited the nest and left the chick to mother nature. Forest structure is closely tied to avian species' richness on local and regional scales. Major threats to forest birds include deforestation, forest fragmentation, urbanization, predation, competition, climate-related changes, etc. Hence, staff of Hirakud Wildlife Division of Odisha Forest Department conducts regular patrolling along the nesting sites, monitor and document nesting phenomenon, creates general awareness amongst fishing communities, thereby safeguarding the biodiversity of the sanctuary. The Debrigad Wildlife Sanctuary